Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send follow-up message to Facebook leads automatically for consecutive days. Let's suppose I'm having an event management company and to promote my business, I'm also running an ad campaign on my Facebook page. And now I want that as soon as a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, automatically a follow-up message should be sent to that same lead on WhatsApp for continuously three days. So how are we going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Fably Connect. Now here we have Facebook lead ads in our trigger and in action I'm going to take Wati with the help of which I'm going to send WhatsApp messages to my leads. If you want you can also take any other application over here let's say Interact or AI Sensei and now we are going to connect both of them by using Fably Connect in order to automate this entire process and to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send follow-up messages to our leads on WhatsApp on consecutive days. Okay, let's suppose I'm having an event management company named as Sparkle Events and this is the page named as Sparkle Evenings which I'm running to promote my business. Let's suppose in order to promote my business, I'm also running an ad campaign by using Facebook lead ads and now I want that as soon as a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads for my event management company, I want to send follow-up messages to my Facebook lead on WhatsApp. I want to send follow-up messages to my Facebook lead on WhatsApp. Okay, so here I'm going to automate this entire process by setting up an integration between Facebook lead ads and Wati. Wati has the official API access of WhatsApp. I'm going to use Wati for sending WhatsApp messages to my Facebook leads. You can also use any other application over here in place of Wati such as Interact or AI Sensei. So we are going to set up a connection between Facebook lead ads and Wati with the help of Fably Connect without any coding or programming skills. So this is the homepage of Fably Connect where we can reach directly by typing fably.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we reach here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have two folders here. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner by creating folders, you can save your workflows here on the dashboard accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option, which is given on right corner. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send follow-up message to Facebook leads automatically. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop-down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder. Now let's click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here in this workflow, we are going to take Facebook lead ads in our trigger and Vati through which we want to send WhatsApp message in our action. And we want that as soon as a new lead will be generated from Facebook lead ads, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to that same lead. Here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the lead is generated, then only the message is sent on WhatsApp, otherwise not, okay? So after understanding this concept, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is Facebook lead ads. So let's select it. Now we will select our trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So here our trigger event will be new lead instant. Let's select it as we want it. As soon as a new lead will be generated, instantly the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, the workflow should automatically get trigger. We will click on connect. And now from the given options, I'm selecting this add new connection in order to build a new connection with my Facebook lead ads account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. So we will click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And we can find that our authorization has become successful. That means, that means Facebook lead ads now is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. 
so as i was already logged into my facebook account the authorization has become successful very easily you also have to keep in mind always to keep logging to your applications before making the connection with pably connect as it makes the connection simple as well as easier now let's move further the next thing after the connection it is asking us is to select the page as well as the lead gen form okay so in order to understand both these things i'm going to take you towards my facebook account and on my facebook account this is the page which i am running with the name as sparkle evenings for my event management company and i want to promote this business with the help of lead gen form which i have created by using facebook lead ads so here i want that as soon as a person is going to submit the form with the details automatically the response of that lead should be captured in pably connect and for that first of all we will have to select this page as well as the form which we have created in pably connect okay so from the drop down here i am going to select the page the name of my page is sparkle evenings so i have selected it the next is the lead gen form so here i have multiple forms i want to use this new leads form in order to capture the response so i want that as soon as a person is going to fill this particular form then only the response should be captured in pably connect okay we will click on save and send test request button and here we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response that means now we have to do a test submission by submitting the form which we have selected over here so that the response of that form could be captured here in public connect okay and for doing that i'm going to take you towards meta for developers here we have to go towards more section and we can find tools option under this when we will select that it is going to take us towards developer tools now here under other developer tools we will find the option of lead ads rt debug tool let's select it and it has taken us towards this lead ads testing tool so with the help of this lead ads testing tool we are basically going to test our integration between facebook lead ads and pably connect so i'm going to select my page and the form over here and i will submit that form with dummy details in order to send a test response towards pably connect so because i'm not running any live campaign in reality on my facebook page therefore i could not send a response of a real lead on pably connect but in your case when you will be running a live campaign on your facebook page for your business then as soon as a new lead will be generated through your lead gen form the response of that real lead will be automatically captured in pably connect okay so here we are going to test our integration first of all let me select the page the name of my page is sparkle evenings i have selected it and the form associated with this page is already selected new leads form okay so we will click on this preview form button to open it but before that it is given that you can create one lead per form that means we will have to delete an existing lead with this form in order to create a new lead okay so let's click on this delete lead button and i have deleted the existing lead now you will refresh the page once and once again we are going to select our page as well as the form is selected over here okay so this is very important step once we will delete the existing lead we also have to refresh the page so that a new form could be open in front of us so let's suppose i am running a ad related to the winter and the wedding season for my event management company and this is a contact form with the help of which when a person is going to submit it i am going to capture the response of that lead in pably connect and then i am going to send them the follow up messages for consecutive days so this is my objective now in order to do a test submission i am going to use dummy details let's start with the contact number so the contact number here will be a random contact number and a random email let's say first name will be let's say dummy as well as the last name will be user okay so these are the details now i'm going to submit this form let's click on next and we will click on submit so the form is submitted now let's go back towards pably connect and we will wait for a few seconds over here and here we can find that as soon as we have submitted the form in lead ads testing tool here we have received the response with all the same details contact number email first name as well as the last name this means that our integration between facebook lead ads and pably connect is perfectly successful and now whenever a new lead will be generated from facebook lead ads for our event management company automatically the response of that lead will be captured here in pably connect okay so by using this response now we are going to move further and here my objective is to send the follow up messages to all the facebook leads for my event management company on whatsapp okay for that we are going to first of all connect vati because i want to send whatsapp messages with the help of vati so here i am going to connect vati with pably connect let's move towards our action step and in our action application here i am going to select vati okay let me connect it now we will select the action event that is send template message let's click on connect and now from the given options i am going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my facebook lead ads account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that so as we have clicked on add new connection here we need to enter two details api and point as well as the access token and in order to find both the details the instructions are provided to us here so we just have to go towards our vati dashboard and then we have to click on api docs under api docs we will find both the details so let me take you towards my vati account and we will go towards api docs and yes here are both the details access token as well as the api endpoint so first of all let me copy the api endpoint and then i'm going to paste it over here 
and the next is the access token so let me copy it and we'll paste it over here okay done in the same manner you have to find both the details and now we are going to click on save so here as soon as we have done that Bati account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect so we will move further now so after building the connection here we need to enter the details in order to send the whatsapp messages to our facebook lead first of all it is asking us for the whatsapp number on which number you want to send the message okay so our objective is to send whatsapp message to the facebook lead which is recently generated and we have already received the details of the facebook lead in our earlier response that is from facebook lead ads response okay so we will simply map the data from there now what is mapping mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the number let's select it and it will be mapped automatically so as we have mapped the number it has become dynamic now and it is going to change with each and every response that means whenever a new response will be captured from facebook lead ads a new lead will be generated from there automatically the number is going to be replaced with a new number of that new lead but in case if we will enter it manually then it will become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response therefore in order to automate the entire process in order to send whatsapp message to all the facebook leads we use mapping over here okay now after mapping the number the next it is asking us is the template name in order to understand this once again i'm going to take you towards my wati account and we will go towards template section now here are multiple templates which i have created for different purposes in order to send follow-up message to my facebook leads i have created a new template with a name as follow-up message let me open it and show you the name is given over here and the category which i have selected is marketing as well as the language is english okay so the next is the broadcast title i have used the name of my page that is sparkle evenings as my broadcast title and whatever we are going to select in our broadcast title is going to be shown in the header of the message in bold okay but in case if you want to attach a particular image along with this message in the header you can also use the broadcast title type as image instead of text okay the next is the body of the message hello name thank you for contacting us we are glad to be in touch with you we have some special offers for you as you are so special for us make the wedding season forever memorable with us enjoy seamless discounts on your first booking with us we are open for booking now regards team sparkle events okay this is just the basic content which i want to send as a follow-up message to my facebook leads so in the place of name because i have used a variable over there the name is going to replace with each and every response so with the help of variables we can send the same template to different leads without any manual efforts in the customized format so wherever in this template you are going to use the variable the details of that place are going to be automatically replaced with each and every response okay so this is the purpose of using variables i have used only one variable over here you can definitely use as much variable as you want and you can create this template in more customized format according to your business requirements now we will move further the next thing which we have to enter over here is the sample content so whatever variable you have used you also have to provide the sample value for that variable that what value you want in the place of that variable okay so because i have used a variable for name so i have entered a dummy name over here okay sample content is not required to be exact always you can also use dummy format you can also use dummy details now we will cross this and once you will complete your template you also have to send it for approval and when it will get approved you can definitely use it in order to send multiple messages to multiple people as my template is approved i'm going to go back towards family connect and here i'm going to select the name and we can find that the name of my template is selected correctly that is follow up message okay the next is the broadcast name in this field we have to enter the broadcast title which we have used in our template so the broadcast title i have used is sparkle evenings i am going to enter the same over here sparkle evenings and we have to enter the exact broadcast title over here in this field now the next and the very important step of this workflow is custom parameters so here we need to provide the name as well as the values for our variables which we have used in our template and that too in the given exact format so this is very important step because a single mistake in this field can make the workflow stuck so without taking any risk we will simply copy the given format and we will paste it over here and now i am going to make the necessary changes in this particular format only first of all it is asking us the name so in the place of name the name of the variable will come and in place of value the value which we want to use in place of variable will come okay so the name of my variable is name only so here in the place of color i am going to enter name okay this is the name of my variable and now the value so i want to keep the name of the facebook lead here in place of value so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to map the first name of the lead this is dummy and because i have mapped this name now it is going to change with each and every response so it has become dynamic now but whatever data we have entered manually that means the name of the variable will remain same each time okay so let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response along with the response we have also received the contact id that means the message is sent on the number which we have mapped over here so let's go and check on whatsapp 
And yes, here we can find that the message is received from Sparkle Evenings. Hello, dummy. Thank you for contacting us. We are glad to be in touch with you. We have some special offers for you. Enjoy seamless discounts on your first booking with us. We are open for bookings now. Regards, Team Sparkle Events. So this means that our workflow is perfectly successful up till now. We will go back towards Pabli Connect. Now, my objective is to send the follow-up message to all my Facebook leads up till three consecutive days. For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use delay in my workflow. Okay, so I'm going to delay this workflow up till 24 hours and then once again I'm going to delay the workflow up till 24 hours for sending the follow-up message to my leads up till three consecutive days. Okay, so I'm going to click on this add action step button and now I'm going to delay the workflow. Let me select delay over here in the action application. Delay is an amazing feature by Pabli which allows us to delay the workflow up till our required time. Okay, so here we will select add time delay. Okay, and now we are going to click on connect. Now it is asking how much delay you want to put in your workflow. So we have two options over here, delay for or delay until. Okay, so I'm going to use delay for over here because I want to delay this workflow for hours. So here I have selected delay unit as hours and the hours will be 24. So I want to delay the workflow up till 24 hours as I want to send the next message on the next day. Okay, so we'll click on the save and send test request button. And we have received the response and the messages that the workflow is delayed for 24 hours. Okay, so this means that next message is going to be sent on the next day now. So we'll click on this add action step button. We will select Vati over here as our action application and the action event will be sent template message. We'll click on connect and we'll go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection. We'll click on save. And after building the connection here, we are going to enter the details once again. So the WhatsApp number is this, we have mapped this, the template is selected correctly. Next is the broadcast name that is Sparkle Evenings and the next is the custom parameters. And here we have entered all the details, okay? So because I want to send the same message on all the three consecutive days as follow up to my leads, I am using the same template over here. But if you want to send different messages on different days, you can also use different templates over here for sending the messages on each day. Okay, now here we are going to click on save and send test request button and we have received a response. That means now the message is going to be sent after 24 hours as we have used delay. So the workflow is delayed up till 24 hours and after 24 hours automatically the WhatsApp message will be sent to the lead. Okay, now we are going to use one more action step over here. Let's click on this add action step button and I'm going to delay the workflow once again for another 24 hours. We'll use delay. We will add the action step as add time delay. Once again, we are going to click on connect and here I'm going to use delay for hours and the hour will be 24 okay so we have once again delayed the workflow for 24 hours now we will again connect vati over here let's click on add action step button let's select vati action event will be send template message once again we'll click on connect we'll go with the existing connection only and here we are going to once again enter the details so when, so we will map the number the template is selected correctly and here the broadcast name that is sparkle evenings and at last the custom parameters so in this way i have entered all the details we'll click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response once again but on whatsapp here we have not received any message further because we have delayed the workflow for next 24 hours and after that once again we have delayed the workflow for next 24 hours so by using delay in our workflow we are going to send the message to our facebook leads for three consecutive days without any manual efforts Okay, so once we have sent the message on first day, then we have used delay in order to send the message on next day. And then once again, we have used delay for 24 hours for sending the message on the third day. So in this way, we are going to send the message for three days without any manual efforts by using delay. So we have used six simple steps over here in the workflow, trigger and five actions. In trigger, we have used Facebook lead ads and in action, we have used Vati as well as delay by Pabli. And, and then we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive a new lead from Facebook lead ads, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to that same lead as a follow-up message on first day with the help of Vati. And then once again, the message will be sent to the same lead for three consecutive days without any manual efforts, okay? For delaying the workflow for next two days, we have used delay option by Pabli, with the help of which we have delayed the workflow for 24 hours so that automatically the message will be sent on the next day also. And once again, we have used delay to make the workflow delay for next 24 hours once again, so that the message could be sent on the third day also automatically. I have used only one template over here for sending the follow-up messages. You can definitely use different templates for sending different messages on different days. In the same 
then you can send follow up message to all your Facebook leads even for more days by using delay option in your workflow. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.